right. I'm back. I have trimmed. Oopsie. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I have trimmed all around my four. I increased the pool compensation just a little bit because I'm horrible about trimming around the outside. I feel like I don't want anything showing out the, you know, the fabric coming over. So, I lay it flat. I got this cool little mini iron. So I'm going to just do it over the four. Oops. I say it's cheap is an understatement, but it works. Um, it doesn't get scalding hot, but it fits. And I just put it over the four to kind of help that heat and bond. Bond to the shirt. And my hoop always knocks it off, so I'm constantly replugging it. This will just help it to stay nice and in place when it's in the machine. I have a brother scan and cut that's supposed to you know, cut out the exact shape for appliques, but I we have a love-hate relationship. I love the idea, but it hates me, so it never cuts it right. Just make sure it's all the corners for some reason. I always get the corners. Alright, I'm going to plug that baby back in. Alright. I'm going to go back to the machine. And we're going to do the caterpillar. Alright. Now, I'm going to change my top color to the green that I want. Which green do I want? I think I want this one. I just always try to match them. Guess y'all don't want to see me, you want to see there. Um, I am in my third position, but my design is in the first. So as you saw from my mistake, fix it. And I already, you know, took those stitches out that were right there. It's going to be covered by the caterpillar anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But it bothers me, so I do it. All right. Next step. We're not going to do this step because that's the... Um, number four, the final, you know, satin stitch. So what I'm going to do is find our caterpillar. And this is our caterpillar, caterpillar head. So I'm going to go ahead and let it do the placement of that. And this will let me know how big a piece I need to cut. This one that it automatically moved to, number five, is the tack down, so I'm not ready to do that. So I'm going to hit that button and advance to the caterpillar placement.
All right. So now it moved it to the tack down. So I'm going to go ahead and lay my fabric in there. All right, I'm going to trim this the top of the little face. Looks like the body doesn't need trimming. All right, so I'm going to lay that down the green. Make sure it is covered all the design, which it has. All right, and then I'm going to say, tack it down. I'm just, I like to smooth the fabric as it goes so there's no bubbles. That's why you see me dangerously putting my fingers in there. Alright. So now, I want to go slide it out a little bit. You see where it, the head comes up here? I'm just going to kind of trim it really, really fast right here because I want to go and tack down my face fabric. And it's going to go right about there. I need my big scissors, but I don't have them here. I'm going to cut a little bit bigger. Fold it up. There you go. All right, I'm going to put it back in position one because that's where we've been working. All right, and then this is the part where you just got to keep track of what you're doing. Remember the face um, placement was back there? Well, the face tack down will be back there. So go back. No. No. Aha. See? That was the placement. This is the tack down. And then this will be the satin. So I'm going to go number five. Oops. I'm going to find the little face. Number one. Tag it down. Now I'm going to trim the green, I'm going to trim the face, and I'll meet you back.